So as you're trying to move back, you kind of throw that club. So if you keep centered, and you maintain what you've created at the top, don't let the butt of this club overtake the middle of the forearm, and you're turning, okay? See there like that? It's basically pointing at my sternum and it never overtakes. So my pivot has to dictate it as well on the way through. So hit me one now where you're really just feeling that as a whole, that once you get to the top, you're just maintaining. And it's like you said, because you're staying centered now and you jump up, and as you jump up, it kills all your lag and it kills all your speed and it kills that shaft lean. So what you need to try and feel is that once you've turned and you've stayed centered, you're better pressing in the ground then. You don't have to stand up and kill this throw. You're here and you can actually turn and then the ground will push you back. And that's when you then create that shaft lean and that position at impact. But you can't, as long as you go here, if you try and turn from here and do everything we said then, dump the club in the ground way back there, right? So you need to feel more here rather than that upper torso getting that way. From there, you can maintain what you've created at the top. You've then started to press into the ground. Speed, your speed allows you to create shaft lean. And as you come into the ball like that, and then the butt of the club doesn't overtake the, the center part of those forearms, and you can just 